Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm and Y, and today I wanted to just check in with you guys. We've had a lot going on the past couple weeks, and I wanted to update everyone. I don't know if you guys want the bad news or the good news first, but I think we're going to go with the bad news so that we can end the video on a high note. So let's go check out what's been going on. So as most of you guys know, we were blessed with some triplet dolings on uh, Memorial Day. And uh, the mother of those dolings was a Nubian that my daughter had bought a couple years ago. She was about seven when we bought her, we were told. But um, we thought with some good care that she would be, you know, living a long life. Unfortunately, when she had those triplets this year, uh, she had some ligament damage, it seemed like. And she wasn't standing very well after giving birth. Uh, she wasn't standing very well prior to giving birth, like right at the end, but we thought that might get better after the weight of the babies. So we had given her some vitamins and tried to treat her. And with the extreme heat and our best efforts, she unfortunately bloated and we were not able to bring her back from that. And we lost her uh, just a, a couple nights ago, unfortunately. Right before that happened, uh, she was, you know, up and walking. We'd take her out and she'd graze and go by the tree line. She was not very sturdy on her legs at that time. And while nursing one of the triplets, she must have plopped down on them in the night and squashed her. So not only did we lose the mom, but we lost the triplet that had the dot on her back. So that was a pretty rough day, but I want to be authentic with you guys so that you understand that, you know, it's unfortunately part of the life cycle on the farm and things don't always go as we hope or plan. So we do still have our two little dolings. They are eating on a, what we call a nipple bucket. Uh, we, we give them milk uh, three times a day. They're eating grain and water. They're a month old now. So uh, they're doing well and growing and healthy and we're being very cautious to make sure. So hoping they get all the vitamins and nutrients trying not to give away other parts of this video in my shot. Uh, they're doing really well, so let's check them out. So this is their little feeder. We fill it up three times a day. They drink it up, and they also have access to minerals, baking soda, and grain. There's Handsome. He's the um, buckling born from the other mommy over here and his sister behind him. And they're all pretty naughty and mischievous. They get out of everything and get into everything and... So these guys are doing pretty well and we're grateful for that. So now let's check out some of the exciting news that's happened since you guys have seen us last and introduce you to some of our new additions. These are our two little Jersey heifer calves. They're registered little girls we got from a farm nearby. They stayed with their mommy for a couple weeks so that they could get plenty of colostrum. And now the mommy needs to go and be milked, so we are feeding them milk here on our farm from a bottle. This one is named Ruby. This is Chloe's calf, and Michaela's calf is named Maisie. Hopefully the girls will be able to show these calves in 4-H next year if we actually have a fair. Our fair has been canceled this year because of the virus. And they're doing really well. They're actually already eating hay and drinking water. And they're super adorable. I'll show you guys some really cute pictures of them at the end of this video that we've taken since we've had them for a week. We also introduced that little red buckling. Uh, he's a registered buck. He's young, he was a triplet, and we got him for Matt for Father's Day. So he was our present to him. And he's super sweet, he's very friendly. And I don't think he has a name yet, unless if my husband has named him, I will put that in here somewhere. But if you guys have any name suggestions let us know because he's not very fast on naming things the garden is doing really well you can see the squash plants are getting huge and the berry bushes are huge my spinach has kind of gone to seed but I'm still eating it because it makes me feel really good I don't know if that's just in my head but I eat lots of spinach as much as I can every day because it keeps my headaches at bay it seems our sugar snap peas have flowered and now are very quickly growing lots of purple pea pods. I already harvested most of my garlic scapes and made pesto with it, which was delicious. That's it for my update today, guys. I'm sorry to share some sad news, but unfortunately that's just how farming is. And uh, with 
one life passing, you know, new life comes and that's just how it is, unfortunately. So thanks so much for hanging out with me and uh, listening to our story. I hope your gardens are growing well and you guys are enjoying the sunshine. It's been super warm in upstate New York. So we're getting lots of sunshine and uh, take care until next time, guys.